oh it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius. Now this will be for the 18th to the 24th of October 2021. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Don't forget it's a general reading. It is not going to suit every single person out there. So please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Time can be fluid. Energy can be vice versa. So keep that in mind. One more shuffle for Sag. Okay, Sag for the 18th to the 24th. You've got a lot to kind of fill out here. I feel like every single time we go back and forth with you guys, like I feel like every single time I know how this the reading is going to go, right? And I, and I don't think about readings before I start. I put out there, like, tell me what I need to know. I put out there, like, you know, tell me what I need to tell you, you know, like, intuitively tell me what I need to know from the cards like every single time I do this I know what these readings are gonna are gonna show now I like it would be nice if you got something different every single time like it's like a Scorpio reading and I'm Scorpio and every time there's a Scorpio reading it's eh, pretty predictable but how they're gonna go now you guys you and your person back and forth back and forth and i'm pretty sure even if i looked back at the last couple of readings sag has always been back and forth nothing changes uh deception and breakup make a plan manifest what you need for heartbreak after heartbreak karmic relationship um resisting the complete end Relationships over. You're gonna walk away. It's like the same thing over and over, right? Like, and I mean, I would love to get different readings, right? I would love to have different readings for you guys, but in the end, I don't pick the cards. The cards come out, right? So for people to say, "Oh, it's always the same," unfortunately, I don't pick the cards, right? The cards come out when they're meant to. They fall out for me. I don't pick them. Now, your cards are always the same. So whether you are not wanting to make a choice or whatever this is, I'm not here to judge you. I'm here to try and help you and tell you what the cards say. That's it, right? So every single time, I mean, here, right? The end, this, is, this is the two last cards, the world card, and you've got ten of pentacles. Now, the ten of pentacles is like the most amazing card, right? You have complete security. If, like if you look at the picture, there's a person with a kid. There's a person that's pregnant. You've got people over here that looks like a, a, a son and a dad or whatever, right? So it's all about financial security. It's about peace and contentment. It's about getting your wishes pretty much. Like if whatever you want to have happen is getting those things. So it's like it's even better than the Ten of Cups. It's better because you've got financial security as well as your happy family life. You know, if that's what you want, it's, it's all of that. And you don't just have that. You have the world card, which is also like you, you're completing a lesson. Like we go through from the full to the world and then we start again we go around like a circle, right? And you've completed a lesson with something and it's going to give you your, whatever this is, your wishes, right? We'll just call them wishes. Whatever this is, your financial security, your whatever. And it's like now endings will bring new beginnings and your ending and new beginning will bring you this, right? Now, I mean, I can tell you, Sag, the same thing that I tell you every single reading, which is you are going to get this Ten of Pentacles, right? You are going to get your happy ever after. You are going to have an ending and a new beginning. But it's your choice, right? You have free will. Now, your choice 
in the past however many months I've been doing readings for, which is, I mean, not real long because I haven't done readings online for very long. But all of my readings have always been the same thing, where people that are sad generally go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with somebody. It's like you have this connection to somebody that you don't want to let go of, but it seems like a lot of karmic relationships more so than your right person. What you want is this, but will you get it? Now, I mean, it's telling me eventually you will. I'm just hoping eventually for you. Like, I'm hoping for you that this will happen sooner than later. So it's all about, you know, endings bringing new beginnings. It's about getting everything you want in life. Um, but I feel like it's like with this card, right? I mean, I mean okay, let's, let's have a look at these, right? This, for me, when I get this, I mean, it, there's many different uh, meanings and it could be about you focusing on your craft, right, and getting money for what you love to do. And for some of you, you may, right? Maybe you need to stop focusing on the relationship and do something you love to do. For others, this card always says to me that you're winding your knowledge, right? So everything we go through in our life teaches us lessons. Learn the lesson. Learn the lesson that you keep on going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And like, you seem to not want to walk away from something. And then in the next breath, you are. Like, I can't pick, like, I can't make this stuff up. You want to walk away every single time. Like, this oh, it's not fulfilling me. Rah, 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 rah. Walk away. And then, nope, oh, I'm going back. Because I love them or, you know, whatever. And then you walk away. And nope, back again. It's like choices for you guys. Like it's the same choices. You need to learn from this, right? You need to learn from this. It's the same thing. This situation is not going to give you this because you know why? Endings bring new beginnings and your new beginning is this. This is not your last card. This was. So there's an ending of some kind. Endings bring you new beginnings. There's, you, you're completing a lesson or a goal. It's all about completion. Right? You've learned. You're completing it. Then you will get this. Now, the problem and the reason you keep going back is because like here you are feeling sad, you've had your breakup, you're feeling like, oh, I'm lonely, I'm sad, I'm missing them, I'm never going to find someone until I'm whatever age. You're failing to see that you will have some magical opportunity that's going to come in that's going to be better. It's like the best you could possibly, you couldn't even imagine how good this situation is going to be, right? When something is replaced by something, it's replaced by something a hundred times better. But we have to learn from it because if we don't, we'll keep on getting more of the same. So stop focusing on this negative and focus on the fact that you are going to complete this lesson by walking away from this person that's obviously not for you, obviously, after all these readings, to get what it is you want. Right? Right, now let's deal with what's on the table. Now, I don't even know if I shuffled these or not. I've been so busy focusing on this other stuff. Okay, so I have, you've got the, right, you've got on the table, you've got the Five of Swords in reverse, you've got the Two of Wands, you've got the Ten of Wands in reverse, Two of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups in reverse. Like, this is pretty much telling me what I've just told you. In this short amount of time okay let's start so the first card five of swords you have been in a as i say a toxic hostile situation that wants to reconcile they want to make amends someone feels like they're at a loss that they want you and you know at the same time you want to be with someone who shares your dreams. You want to be with 
somebody who um like you see your future with like you're doing future planning right and he like here they are wanting to reconcile and here you are needing to take the next steps you are you're thinking about your your future you're thinking about your choices now it could mean that you're continuing to move forward right you're taking the next steps to make your dreams a reality Let's ask. Yeah, because it's not going to be victorious. It's not. There's no, there's even a lack of direction in this situation um, with the chariot in reverse. I also feel like you don't want to make a choice. Um, there needs to be some self-discipline. There's opposition for some of you. And here you are with the six of... Um, pentacles in reverse as well like somebody's giving to other people you're needing to care for yourself because this is a one sorry hiccups one-sided relationship what do hiccups mean i just had a reading right and i found out like i yawn a lot in readings and it's an intuitive thing i never realized and i um, want to share that because i just realized i learned something new every day and also <laughs> also found out burping is also that and it's a release of energy for both of you, like for, or for the person that's doing that. If you're doing a reading or something spiritual, that's what it means. Like it's a release of release of that. Anyway, I didn't know that until recently. Um, and because I yawn, I yawn a lot while I do readings. It's an intuitive thing. So anyway, six. Um, oh, and also burping is also a way to release anxiety and fear. And that's why we burp. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Right. Anyway, let's move on. So, yeah, you've got choices. The six. So here you are. It's a one-sided relationship and you're needing to care for yourself because somebody's probably giving to other people. You feel like this person's your person and so you're in mental conflict about it. But look, five of swords. Same card as this one here. It's here it's upright so here you are this person wants to reconcile or you want to reconcile right but at the same time you're trying to think about what you want for your future but then here they are coming in now it's a hostile situation they're stealing from you cheating on you they're lying to you deceiving you um being violent with you whatever this is right tell me more They're cruel, they're deceitful, bitchy, sly, um, you know, it's all about their ego. That's what it is. And as I said, what, I mean, Ten of Pentacles, it's the exact same card. What you want is that, right? You thought this person could give you that. You thought this person or you see this person as being able to give you. But also maybe you're just future planning and that's what you want, right? You want that. You want the Ten of Pentacles with somebody or in general, you know, whatever that is for you. It could even be by yourself, but generally it's with somebody. And you want to have that financial security. You want that for yourself and your family. You want that. And... I don't feel like this person can give it to you because they're cold-hearted, deceitful, sly, deceptive. They're all these things. Right. Then we have the Ten of Wands in reverse. This is a burden for somebody. Somebody feels like they put in all the work and it doesn't really, you know, doesn't get them anywhere. It just leaves them feeling burnt out. It leaves them feeling exhausted. It leaves them feeling, you know, like crap pretty much. overwhelmed but someone is look there's always cards down when i do readings yeah look you are going to make a positive movement forward right there's obstacles and challenges in a situation and like this situation oops if i can i tried to put them nicely so you're making a positive movement forward because 
you know there's too many obstacles in this situation you know it feels like a burden you know that you're trying to look at your life with a long-term view about what it is you want that will make you happy and don't forget though now you've got the seven of swords it's this person is deceptive dishonest they are a traitor you know, whatever that means to you they are sneaky they are sly they act strategic they want to get away with something right this is the kind of person this person is and all they do is cause obstacles and challenges in your relationship so and they're a burden so make a positive movement forward you know with this cut with this situation plus you've got the three like you're learning now that this is what this person brings to your life like look like seriously detach from this person they probably have some sort of addiction as well um it could be drugs sex money alcohol gambling codependency they could be uh just that it's a very very toxic situation which we've already established it is so you've got the seven of swords you've got the five of swords like this is not a healthy situation for anybody yeah like they leave you out in the cold but you are going to recover from that right you need to know you are going to recover from that you don't you're resisting the change though you don't want to break the cycle but you will recover from this you've got the king of wands like you know have some vision for your life like take back your own power it could have been that this person is just charming it could have me it could be that they you know enticed you with sex it could be that you felt very passionate or there was passion with you guys um you know very confident very decisive kind of person maybe owns cats um But you've also got the Six of Cups. I mean, you've got memories and you've got nostalgia with this person, you know, like, and that kind of keeps you, like, going back. So you're stalling and resisting kind of making any kind of decision because you feel like you know you've got history with this person. But sometimes you have history with karmic people, you know, or we have history with people that weren't right for us. So... Anyway, you've got decision to make with the Two of Pentacles. You, you're definitely trying to weigh up your options. You could be um, needing to be tighter on your money for some of you, maybe because money is the issue that you stay there. Um, but for others, it could mean that you just need to make a decision. Um, could be somebody's also juggling multiple situations, people. It could have something to do with the devil energy. They might be having an addiction with you, plus you. It could be anything, right? um that they're balancing or trying to trying to weigh up um but somebody's like the queen of pentacles and it's you know they love their family and home they you know they need to be more practical about how they proceed you know it's all about money and because they're both pentacles pentacles is all about you know stability and material resources and whether you think this person can give you that or they do give you that which is why you stay or maybe it's an issue in your life um let's ask maybe they're supportive to you yeah like you've got your thinking back but like here you are with the five first card you had was the five of swords in reverse like somebody wants to reconcile but you know what? You don't have the same values and expectations and morals and everything else as this person. You probably had a misalignment of values somewhere along the line. Now, somebody doesn't want to see this. There's either no communication with this person. It's a lost opportunity of some kind, right? Or, once again, it's a pentacle. Everything else you have here is a pentacle. So whether there's no stability in this situation or there's something to do with your material resources, that is an issue for one of you. And I'm, I'm assuming it's you because you wouldn't hang on to this person. If, if you had money, why would you need to hang on to them? You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't need them for stability because you've got it. So I feel like this is something that you get from them. Whether you're using them for money, I don't know, but there's something to do with money there. But I feel like there's obstacles in your life and I feel like it's about money. 
So possibly there is a lack of communication or once again, it comes down to the lack of stability and, and material resources. For some of you. Like every single time this comes out. Like it causes you anxiety, worry, depressed, feeling depressed, you know, nightmares, lack of sleep. Like you have all of these things, right? Because you fear not being able to be okay. And whether it's that you don't know if, I feel like, okay, I'm going to say, I'm going to be honest. Ugh. I feel like you're with this person for their money. That's what I feel like. I feel like they can support you. Whether they've got a house, maybe you need a house. Whether it's they have money, you need money. I don't feel like you, I mean, you may love this person, you may not. You go back and forth. But I feel like, is it because, is it because of the money? Are you the one that's being deceptive? Like they may be like the devil. They may also not be a great kind of human. Or they've just got addictions and things they need to change and work on, right? But at the same time, it's like, are you the one being deceptive because you're just using them for money? But it's making you feel anxious. It's, it's, it's affecting how you feel. Because once again, you want to be set up. Like you want to be set up for life. You want to know that you have a place to stay. You want to know that you've got money. There's your house. There's your money. Maybe you're happy putting up with this happy family because maybe you don't have a family of your own. But whatever it is, maybe whether you've got dogs, cats, rabbits, whatever it is, it's like this person can offer you that and whether that's why you stay and maybe that's why you're feeling anxious because you know that the only reason you're there is for that reason. Yeah. And it's like you don't want to have a new beginning but at the same time you've got the Queen of Wands. Like someone who's got comp confidence they have courage they're attractive like people find them very attractive you know go out there and be a bit of a social butterfly you could always but you could already be that like if you went out there you attract other people and i feel like be at the same time you don't want a new beginning and it comes down to what this person can offer you and i feel like you need to work on that yourself i also feel like you need to work on your self-worth because I don't feel like you've got a lot if you're having to use someone for money. Are you the devil? Or are they? You need to release those limiting beliefs you have about yourself. You need to do some work on you. You need to detach from someone that is like the devil, if that's the case. Like, if you're hanging on to somebody who's just, a, you know, not a great person, or they have addictions, or both, if you're, or someone that's, you know, like, it's a toxic situation. So if you're hanging on to that person for the money, get rid of it. Money is a factor for you. And, I mean, eventually... You're going to argue like you always do. There'll be a breakup like there always is. It's a back and forth energy that doesn't get you anywhere other than around and around in a circle until you put a stop to it. Lack of values, lack of expectation. You don't have the same expectations. You don't have the same values, the same morals, the same anything. Like... You're, they're not a good person or they've got their issues to deal with you you possibly have your own issues to deal with and I feel like trust your intuition I also feel like you will end up having a new start but once again it goes back and forth so you break up and then you'll get back together and do you know why that is because of your everyday things your money your safety your shelter your food and you know what your money Pays for all of that stuff. 
So, you break up because you know this person is not what you want. You know this person doesn't have the same values and expectations as you do. But at the same time, they need to get back together because you need their support, their money, their house, their whatever. This whole situation leaves you feeling exhausted. It leaves you burnt out. It feels like, you know, it makes you feel like you're just stuck. It feels like you're just, yeah, feel like utter shit. But at the same time, they're there to look after you, make sure you've got food on the table, make sure you've got a place to stay. Even if it bores the crap out of you and leaves you feeling discontent, depressed, whatever, it doesn't matter for you. And unfortunately, this is going to be a spiritual lesson for you. Also, do your actions meet your beliefs? Because if not, maybe you need to look at that. You need to look at what guides you in life. You know? As I said, your values and morals and all those things are not the same. Soulmate, in reverse, stay optimistic about your love life, positive thinking. You need to have some trust. You need, there needs to be a heart-to-heart -heart communication because it never progresses to anything, but at the same time, you don't want to release it. And that's because it's a spiritual lesson. You got reconciliation in reverse. Like, uh, like this person is not your person. It doesn't progress to a higher level of really a marriage or, or whatever. It hasn't progressed to that for a lot of you. But I feel like you do enjoy each other's company a lot of the time. But I feel like there's not enough attractional chemistry to keep it going. It's like you're more friends than anything. But the situation that you're in is ruining that, I think. Or could ruin that. Sag. others I've been able to intuitively read not this one okay so there's going to be things that are going to happen it's all about change and things brewing that you have no control over but change is for the good even if you know it does blow away things that for instance this relationship that is only based on really money and security it's it's like even if it blows that away, that you'll get some clarity and, and strength to do something even better. You've got 51 on the bottom. Okay, so this talks about having you know friends love among friends and family and and you know people are all here for you so you know let your thoughts and feelings be sweet with gratitude and you'll be nourished with the honey of abundance it's all about connections and with people and things like that you've also got happy happy 26 So what you want is to be happy. You want to have that where your heart is wide open, you befriend, you love, you care for another without wanting anything in return. That's what you want. So this is telling you that joy and contentment are here. Um, 
grass is greenest right where you stand be grateful and delight in your relationship and if you're seeking one be happy now happiness attracts more of it more of itself like bees to honey oh it's all about like attracts like and you need to be happy where you are whether you're in a miserable relationship if you're not like change that only you can change that but you want to be happy so you can attract happy you want like this came up in one of the other readings might have been aries i can't remember but it was like, you must be a healed version of you to attract a healed version of someone else. You can't be a healed version or still working through stuff and attract a healed version because they're going to be bored with you. They're not going to want to tolerate someone who still has to go through all the hard work. So you need to work on you and heal you. It's like you don't want to change things, but like turn to people that you, you need for safety for that. Um, what's it called support turn to people for support because you don't want to make a change because of that but you are going to end up happy happy which is good okay I mean, that's sad nurture yourself Okay, there's something in your life you need to purify, right? So to get your dreams to come true, like wish upon a star, you need to first of all see past the illusion that there is to get abundance. You, you are going to get some foresight, but there's something you need to purify. So whether you have addictions, codependency, toxic thinking, whatever it is, right? Anything that's not making you a healed version of you, you need to sort out. Purify you. And you've got promise. Oh, look, I turned straight to it. Dancer of Promise. This is like in reverse. And at the moment, it's all, I mean, upright, it's all about looking forward, having determination. You get a glimpse of the future. You know, you have like there's other potentials. Um, there's an opportunity coming in. And it's like in reverse. You don't have hope. You don't have that gleam of hope. You like don't want to look forward you because of what you're because you're using this person for money or all you see is this person and their money or their material comforts that they have that you can use also or whatever it's like you're not looking forward you're not progressing I don't feel like there's a lack I feel like I mean I don't I feel like there is a lack of intimacy in this situation um well there was it wasn't a healthy balanced relationship um as I said I don't feel like you are doing it for the right reasons I feel like you're not I feel like you're doing it for the money that's what I feel like you're there for money safety shelter food whatever they give you right so somebody's not showing how they truly feel they're not being their true self with this person. Therefore, they don't have a positive mindset. They're not manifesting what they want. They're manifesting more of what they don't want because they're tolerating this. But things are going to come to light. You need to adapt, change, and heal you. And work on manifesting what it is you want. All right, that's what I have for you, Sag. I hope that resonates. And if it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys for the next reading. Thanks so much for watching. Okay, bye.